This episode of Destructoid is brought to you by Netflix. Go to netflix.com slash destructoid to get your free trial membership. Coming up on Destructoid, I'm not Jonathan Holmes, I'm so sorry. We've got some leaked 3DS footage for you, and also, did you by any chance leave a pair of underpants in Japan? Uh, all this and more coming up on Destructoid. Welcome everybody to Destructoid, I'm Tara Long. And I'm Max Scoville, I'm, the, I'm, I'm new, I'm the new guy. Uh, if you didn't catch the last episode, Jonathan Holmes, our former co-host, announced that he had to return to his home planet, and then he knighted me with a laser gun and disappeared into the night. That's how you do a season finale, folks. But anyway, you guys are stuck with me now. Uh, Holmes is, is still around on Destructoid.com. He just moved back to Boston. Uh, if you guys make enough of a commotion, maybe we can get him to send us some, some video clips of, you know, of him being cute or something. Or sexy. Ooh. That's for private use, though. We can talk about that later. How was your break, Max? It sucked ass. I drank a bunch of cheap vodka and Mountain Dew and watched The Phantom Menace by myself. I'm sorry. I went home to Texas. It's a similar sensation. But I came back with this cup. That was my Christmas gift to myself. It's environmentally friendly and pink. And despite popular suspicion, it is not coffee in the cup. It is tea, oolong specifically. I gave up coffee two months ago, actually, which I believe falls in the statute of limitations for New Year's resolutions, so I don't have to make one now. Go past me. Well, uh, my New Year's resolution is, um, is going to be in super high def 1080p. You talked about a cup for 20 minutes. Come on. Fuck you, Scoville. <laughs> Get off my set. This is my show. Speaking of resolutions, we here at the show have just one for the new year, aside from getting a giant idiot man-child as a co-host, and that is to redesign our set. I'm sorry, I love you. As you can see, for the past month or so, we've been filming this show in what may as well be Zach Miner's basement. See these lovely curtains here? Uh, but we've been working hard behind the scenes to, to try to create an awesome set for you guys that I think you're going to really like. And speaking to that, Max posted on the website a few days ago asking you guys for donations of cool stuff that we can hang up around here on the walls, some background decorations. Actually, I believe I asked specifically for awesome, stupid crap. Yeah, that. So if you guys have awesome, stupid crap or knickknacks or video game accoutrement of any sort, uh, to make this place feel more alive, feel free to send them our way and maybe we'll put it up on the wall and, you know, make it part of our new set. We were thinking an awesome display of old controllers and possibly some consoles, but we can't uh, reveal right. everything yet. We want it to look like a TGI Fridays, but a cool one. Yeah. A really only. cool one. So if you guys want to send us stuff, the address to do that is revision3 at attention Zach Minor. 2415 3rd Street, Suite 232, San Francisco, California, 94107. And I understand that that's Zach's personal address. So if yeah. you guys want to just pop in to say hello, feel free to do that. And send him a bouquet of roses and some sexy photographs. Um, well, speaking of adding content onto things, uh, you know, it looks like uh, looks like Bioware is going to be tossing Mass Effect 2 fans some more downloadable stuff later this year. Uh, way back in May, Bioware's Casey Hudson stated that the gap between Mass Effect 2 and 3 would be filled in by some new DLC packs. In September, Lair of the Shadow Broker came out, but Mass Effect 3 won't be out until next winter. Meanwhile, Bioware is shutting down the Cerberus Daily News Network as of January 24th, which will, however, you know, come back online for a week leading up to the release of the new Mysterious DLC and for the two weeks before Mass Effect 3's release. So basically, yes, there's going to be more DLC for Mass Effect 2 sometime in the next, like, year. So that's the news. That's the, that's the news story. Thanks for that news story. That's very exciting. But how about a look at something a little more current, maybe? El Nino? Not quite. It's Nick Chester. John Benet Ramsey. <laughs> that is timely news, but fuck no! It's Nick Chester's releases of the week. Hit it, Sally! <laughs> After being available in Europe as a Shadow's Tale for nearly three months, Hudson Soft's puzzle platformer Lost in Shadow finally sees the light of day in North America. If you missed your chance at Super Secret Access last year, this week you can download the charming puzzler Ilo Milo for Xbox Live Arcade. 
and boost your indie cred with Alt Play Jason Rohrer Anthology for DSiWare, featuring three of the developer's critically acclaimed indie titles, Passage, Gravitation, and Between, all for only 200 DSi points. Be sure to hit up Destructoid every Monday for a full list of weekly releases brought to you by our own handsome Prince of Sharks, Hamza Aziz. My goodness, that Nick Chester sure knows how to give a sexy release. Whoa, hey Max, he's your boss. I don't know if you should be doing that. Speaking of underpants, Japanese developer Acquire just put up this mysterious teaser site uh, at akbstrip.jp, which is nothing more than a photograph of a pair of boxer shorts lying in the middle of one of the streets in Akihabara. Uh, Acquire is the company responsible for the earlier and apparently non-crappy Tenchu games uh, and Way of the Samurai and Samurai Western. So judging by their track record, I was sort of maybe thinking, hoping that it would be a game where you play as a ninja who doesn't have any clothes on and you just sneak around butt naked and stab people. But then I remembered that part in Metal Gear Solid 2 where you kind of are ass naked and sneak around and I didn't like that part so much. So there's that. Stab people with your wiener. Is that what you're talking this about? This is a family place, you horrible woman! I'm sorry. I'll make it up to you guys by doing a commercial, shall we? Awesome. With more than 15 million members, Netflix is the world's largest subscription service. For one low monthly price, Netflix members can instantly watch unlimited TV episodes and movies streaming to their TVs and computers, and can receive unlimited DVDs delivered quickly to their homes. And with Netflix, there are never any due dates or late fees. Members can select from a growing library of titles that can be watched instantly and a vast array of titles on DVD. Among the large and expanding number of devices streaming TV episodes and movies are your Xbox 360, PS3, or Nintendo Wii consoles. And you can find movies you love easily. As a Netflix Unlimited member, you get DVDs by mail in about one business day. Watch as many movies as you want to because shipping is free and there are never any late fees or due dates. And as a new member and a Destructoid viewer, you can get a free trial membership. Go to netflix.com slash destructoid and sign up now. And be sure to use this URL so they know that we sent you. Hi, welcome back. I saved my spiciest news for right after the commercial break. Apparently, a Nintendo 3DS was stolen by a Chinese factory worker who then proceeded to take some cute little pictures with it and put them up on the interwebs. There's even a video. What are you doing? I'm just pantomiming. There's even a video to go with it, which is kind of pointless since they don't turn it on until the very end. And even then, you can't see the 3D effects on a normal camera. So it's just a lot of displaying and rotating. Vanna whiting, as I call it. So there you have it. I'm about as excited for this as I was three months ago. And speaking of the 3DS, it looks like Monster Hunter may be making its way there soon. So far, the series has been exclusive to the PSP, but it looks like that exclu exclusivity may be coming to a close with the upcoming release of the 3DS, which is probably not a terrible decision on Capcom's part. The Monster Hunter series is one of the most popular series in Japan right now, especially with last month's release of Monster Hunter Portable the Third, which the game's publisher recently announced was the fastest selling PSP title ever in Japan, selling over 3 million copies just 17 days after the game was released. Capcom CEO Haruhiro Sujimoto recently stated, quote, 3DS is releasing too, so it seems like the time to switch to a new platform is coming. Quite a bit of releasing this episode, hmm, Max? This, this is a big deal, I just like, I like releasing. Yeah. Anyway, those Monster Hunter games lack two very important things, and I will tell you what they are. Gears and War! GameStop recently listed, and then immediately unlisted, Gears of War Ultimate which is a, as a thing that is coming out on February 15th for 30 bucks. Uh, Microsoft then made a statement telling IGN that there would be a forthcoming bundle SKU involving the Gears franchise, which sounds really exciting. Uh, they also specifically stated that it wouldn't involve Gears of War 3, so this is the part we're supposed to speculate that it's a package deal of the first two games, probably some of the map packs and maybe a lock of Cliffy B's hair or a t-shirt or something. Ooh, hope it's washed. Goes for the t-shirt and the hair. And that's all for today's news and our first episode of the new year with our smashing new co-host, Max Scoville. I'd say you did a pretty good job. What do you guys think? For more news, when and if it happens, be sure to check out Destructoid.com where we post literally hundreds of millions of stories a day. It's quite insane, really. Or on a slow day, literally a bunch of stories a day. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I'm Max Scoville. And I'm Tara Long. And no matter what I say, you are still going to write filthy things in the comments. Filthy, dirty things. She loves it. She loves it. <laughs> <laughs> Crushing my soul.